I know this is old news to a lot of you, but I'm going to give one more run through before I actually put down my topsoil. Looks like I may get it today. Well, I am getting it today. And we have potentially three and a half days rain free. So maybe I can get this done. I've already cleared everything that needs to be cleared. As you can see, stones. But I'm going to be putting topsoil over this. And this area down here, actually I did so much digging that I had to loose enough soil I could rake it and spread it out. So I've already seeded this area right in here and grass is starting to come up. I seeded that about five days ago. Right in here, coming up to the back of the house. And this area in here, we had um, thunderstorms last night. And I some of the topsoil I had spread to cover up some of those ravines are back again. You can see those little gullies in there. But that's not too bad. I can spread that out before I put the topsoil down. Same thing along in here. There's probably a little bit. No, not too bad. I've got a mole who works his way across here and over there, and I can't get rid of him. I've been putting poison down. He seems to like it. I don't know. And then there's another one back by where I started out. Another spot where he likes to tunnel. So I'll probably be cursing long after the grass is in. Coming up the hill, all of this in here, you look down, look at all the gravel. It just appears every time it rains. So all the way up the hill here, but I'll be, like I said, I'll be covering it with topsoil. All of this area in here, this is where the firewood was that I dug out that was buried, the rotten firewood. And this was all what looked like shrubbery. Actually, it was some of this stuff that's just been growing wild. So I tore it all out. So this is open all the way up to across there. My plan is to come up there up my neighbor's driveway with the topsoil to do this top area. Otherwise, I'll be pushing the wheelbarrow up this hill. And to go downhill, I will bring it this away. Because where I'm having it dropped is, it would be nice if I could just drop it right there on the front lawn. That needs topsoil anyway. But there's tree branches, and yes, I could cut them. But it does add something to the front of the house when you view it from the street. So, topsoil is being delivered today, six yards. Having it dropped right here, and it'll be a couple days of wheeling it up there and across, or from right here and up and also up my driveway over to there where we started so oh yeah I don't know if I've shown this I think I have I tore like 30 saplings out of here it's too late and hot now to put anything in there but I've got a place where I can put a nice flower bed in which probably was nice at one time too anyway yeah I'm gonna be busy now for the next couple of days And so it begins. That was a starter project 10 days ago now that I put that down and the grass is coming up pretty well. It has the erosion netting over the top of the straw, which I have now completed with the rest of the yard. So, hope it makes a difference. Fingers crossed, right? Ciao, folks. Flag on.